Hello, hello, welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. This video shout out goes to all Evas. Yes, got several of y'all with that name across the social. So we bring it all right here in this one video. Thank you for your continued support. I want to dive into something. This is pretty intriguing, okay? Once you have identified the narcissistic abuser, okay? Mm-hmm. All right, they will tell on themselves, we got to be paying attention, right? Yes, that's our spiritual ears being perked up. And so God will reveal these things to us. And a fellow warrior, I am going to share this one because it's hilarious, okay? It, when the narc tells us that their mind is not all there, we can pretty much... Yeah, we know. <laughs> okay, we know. Why? Because God already told us that he turns them over to a reprobate mind for not retaining God in their knowledge. You see, that's how it works. And so when they come out with their little statement, the, the best tip I have, y'all, is don't, don't tell them, yeah, we know. We don't say that. We think that because we realize they're, they're actually telling the truth. When they tell us that their mind is not all there, well, that's factual, okay? We do know this. Once they, you know, we're, we're talking about the adults, okay? The ones that should know better. But we also know that they don't have control of their own mind. Remember, it's the demon spirits that are controlling their behaviors, okay? Got control of their mind and dishing out all that abuse. Okay, they don't, you know, a lot of them don't even know it, okay? This goes back to, we talked about how, you know, the narcissism is generational. This is why chosen ones are generational curse breakers, meaning that, yes, it ends, okay? It ends with us because we can see it, we do the inner work, we put away childish things, and that does take time. So for anyone who is still working on that, keep going, okay? Keep going because eventually, like I said in one of the podcasts, I believe it's episode number 24, okay? You can always catch that replay on the website, okay? We got the podcast with PBN link in the navigation menu. So for those who did not know about that, now you do. Because what we do is we go live every Tuesday and then I put the replay link on the website. And then now we're also going to, because those are only going to be available in the archive for up to one year from the from the day that it was aired, okay, from when it was posted, okay? So that way, going forward for new survivors who continue to awake, okay, yeah, because remember, God is always waking up his chosen one on his time so like two years from now you'll still be able to get a copy to download off the website as well so that we're working on we make that transition so that that information is still going to be very relevant to a brand new survivor who got awakened okay it's even three years from now four years from now five years from now Okay, this is that long-term thinking. Yes, from the video we did about that. But the long-term thinking and knowing that God is going to awaken his chosen survivors every day. All right, and so it, it can be, you know, even from 10 years from now. All right, the, all of the things that take place during the healing and spiritual growth process will remain relevant. It's called evergreen content, all right? Because this information, you know, for a lot of y'all, yes, you know, for those of you who already know that you've gotten further along, we take, got taken into consideration the new survivors that are awakened to and from the narcissistic abuse in, you know, several years from now. Because after all, God awakened us on his time as well. So that we could get in position to be here for the future generations, the, the ones that he wakes up. 
So there's your tip for anybody who you're still getting in your purpose or you're in your purpose and you're you know still trying to learn how to develop that long-term thinking. There you go, okay? That's how we do it. Is what we, we sit and think about how long it took God to awaken us. You know, for many of us, it was in our 30s and, and some in our late 20s and, and then 40s and then 50s. See, God, that's God's time, okay? God awakens them when he knows they're ready and typically when we have all come across the narcissistic abuser who is the straw that breaks the camel's back boom okay we learn that lesson finally you know we hear god's call and so that's gonna happen every day okay all around the world like right? god is awakening his chosen one and so that they can get pushed into their purpose Just like i said over on TikTok a while back that, you know, that's what he does. He's awakening us to and from the abuse so we learn about it. Do that inner work. Yep, let Jesus in. And that Holy Spirit activates. And so that we get in our purpose to help others overcome. Okay, turning pain into purpose. All right, that's what it's all about. All right, so we help others overcome those same things however it is that God put it in us to do it you see so yes that's that long-term thinking all right and if y'all have any questions about any of that regarding the podcast episodes don't hesitate to reach out because I can guide you right to them okay and so we're trying to come up with you know we want to come up with the titles of like the main uh main topic okay because you got to remember something it is a business network so we obviously are promoting the ministry and the work as well all right so i i offer i share the same reminders on the podcast that i do in some of these videos as well for like cha academy where we'll add on social because people you know it's reaching who it needs to reach see god knows who's ready for it and god knows who is asking a particular question see god knows and so god uses his chosen ones to help answer their questions their prayers things like that we always got to keep that in mind how god works all right so when a narcissistic abuser tells us that their head is not all there this much we know and we understand why because god tells us several times okay not not only about how he's going to cut off the wicked and then we have to remember this too. Narcissistic abusers don't want to learn anything new. They've gone through their whole life you know, manipulating and abusing and, and, and to get what they want in the here and now, that instant gratification. Because remember, the narcs don't have that long-term thinking as far as doing the perfect will of God to help others and uplift them, help them heal and grow because the narcs themselves, they don't want that. Because that's what gets them attention. So when they tell on themselves, we got to make a mental note of that. Okay? And not forget it going forward. Because it's not going to be the first and it's not going to be the last time that we hear one tell on themselves. Okay? So when they do that, we, we store that somewhere in our, well, let's say the mental arsenal. Okay, so we don't forget it going forward because we do eventually come across another narc and they'll say something very similar or exactly the same. Remember, they do, they emulate what others say. We got to be very, very mindful of this, okay? That a lot of narcissistic abusers, that, that, that's what they do, right? They will copy what others say, including what other narcs say. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay, so it's, you'll, you'll catch the patterns a lot quicker going forward. And so when they tell on themselves, we got to believe them the first time. <laughs> okay, we learn to do this. That when they tell on themselves, we believe them the first time. We're no, no more second guessing. That cloud of cognitive dissonance, it is. <laughs> oh no, yeah, we're like, nah. All right, so we don't let them try and trick us into thinking that we didn't see what we saw or we didn't hear what we heard when we know darn well we did. And God helps us remember these things. That's why we go through that phase, you know, the connecting of the dots and all of that. Because let's face it, you know, <laughs> that's part of how God reveals all. 
okay? They're in the end stages of life. He's revealing all, just like he told us he was going to do, you know? It, it, when you get more immersed in God's Word, you'll have more of a, you know, you'll get a better understanding of that, and you'll know more about what he's talking about and things, so that, aha, uh -huh, okay, light bulb moment, light bulb moment, things like that, and then that's strengthening the Holy Spirit, because see, dear, when you're strengthening the Holy Spirit, that's strengthening your spiritual radar, you know, when I say he perks up our spiritual ears and our spiritual eyes, right, because that, that's God's clear lenses on now, that we can see this stuff, all the all the crazy making and everything that, that these narc dish out, you know, to try and cause that discord, that chaos, that drama, you know, because we also now know and we get a better understanding of what God means by the fact that where there is envy and strife, there will be confusion and every other evil works, okay? We never forget that. And so we realize that wherever there's chaos and drama, yep, that's going to be narcissistic abuse right there. Because after all, that is what it is. Okay, it's nothing but chaos, confusion, crazy making, you know, all that abuse being dished out back and forth, back and forth. We remove ourselves. <laughs> okay, that's how God works. <laughs> He's guiding our steps. We walk away. Alright, so we don't ever want to forget that very important tip, okay? However it is that we've got to do it, seriously. God will guide us, and we ask Him, alright, where <laughs> where do we need to go so we can get more of God's work done? And He'll reveal it to us, absolutely, 100%, every single time. And it's all part of that trusting God, 100%. And just keep in mind also, you all, okay, that... If anyone, anyone comes at you, uh huh, yeah, comes at you and throws an accusation at you that you know you did not do, then that a pretty big red flag right there, what you're dealing with, okay? That means the enemy has access to them. Because no one gets more angry than a narc who is being called out on behavior they know they did okay so just remember that one very 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 important okay so another reason why we learn not we overcome that want to confront them because seriously because <laughs> we know that that's just gonna it's gonna you know cause them to either lash out you know, either deny it blame ship deflect whatever Okay, cause they don't want to take accountability for their own actions, right? There you go. All right, so they don't want to do that. However, they will admit that their mind is not all there. And some of us have heard them admit that they're not normal. And we're like, okay, <laughs> we're not going to argue with that. <laughs> no, when it comes to narcs, no, 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 no. We don't argue with that. All right, everybody, so I just wanted to bring that to you with some reminders and tips and then some additional information about the podcast and what's going on there. I keep y'all updated. I want to keep all y'all in the loop here. All right, uh, uh, got to have a little transparency with each other, okay? Because that way, y'all, because I want y'all, you know, you're included. It, you know, this, this journey that we're all on together, all right? We in, it's a community. All right, so never hesitate to reach out with your questions. You know where to reach me for additional information, insight, and other good stuff. Check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Till next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.